Welcome everyone to a brand new series, Planet Zoo. And we are currently going to head and play on a sandbox mode where we have unlimited money and we can go ahead and just kind of do anything that we want. A little later on, maybe we can do some challenges. We'll see how this all goes and if everybody's enjoying the series. So I'm going to go ahead and get our area set up here. I'm thinking that right here in the very beginning, I'd like to go ahead and set up a transit system, maybe right around here, and maybe some kind of plaza over here, maybe with some waterfalls, that kind of thing. So one of the first things we want to do is go ahead and get some paths in for our visitors. And so I've decided to go ahead and elevate the pass so that the visitors will actually be looking down onto each one of the exhibits. As you can see, the path uh, generation is a little difficult sometimes to get it to work. Next thing we need to do is put in some paths for our staff, and our staff needs to be hidden from our visitors. So they're going to be underneath. If you have problems with the uh, connection, if you're playing the game, you have problems with the connection, just be patient. Keep on working on it. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in all the facilities that we need to run our zoo. And these are the staffing facilities. So we have a zookeeper hut, a mechanics hut, veterinarian hospital, a trading center, a staff room and then last but not least we're gonna go ahead and put in some power here all right so now we have done that I want to go back up on top uh, and start putting in a big old plaza on the upper la layer where all of our visitors will come as you can see I did not have the game paused and so therefore it is raining I left it running until the rain quit, and then we will turn it back off. And as soon as I got that in, then we need to just start putting in some of the accommodations that our visitors are going to want. So, first off, we're going to go ahead and put in a drink stand and a food stand. And then we're going to need an information booth. And I got some balloons, because everybody likes a balloon. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and put in some restrooms. And now it looks like we pretty much have everything set up for our staff and also for our visitors. So it's now time to get working on the animals. So let's go over to our animal trading center and let's take a look at our appeal rating. And what we want to do here, um, these guys, this is their appeal rating. And right now an African elephant um, has the highest one. And then we've got a lowland gorilla, uh, African lion, and polar bears. And so uh, right here I'm looking at, we have a female and a male West African lion. On the polar bears, we have a male and a female. We, um, I picked a temperate land. Uh, polar bears are going to want it to be really cold. So I think I'm going to go with the West African lions here. So let's take a look at them. And so here is where you can find out all kinds of information about them. So they're critically endangered. Their natural habitat is their continent is Africa. And then it gives you um, the type of, they're in a grasslands. They have a land requirement, pretty good size. And this is the temperature that they want. They don't want anything to climb on and they don't require any kind of re water uh, requirements like a lake or something like that. They're gonna need a grade three climb proof and it has to be greater than 10 feet tall. Okay, over here, 
it looks like we can have two to four males and two to 30 females. Group size is two to 30, up to one male, up to 29 females. So you have to have at least one male in there. And they will reproduce anywhere between ages three to ages 15. They have a offspring one to three, and it takes three months. And reproduction in Cape is, um, and they should be able to reproduce easily. Research status. Fun facts. The roar of an adult male can be heard from five miles away. Lions are the most social of the big cats. Lions can reach speeds up to 50 miles when running. And female, female lions do 90% of the hunting. Male lions spend their time defending their territory and females from rival males. The things that they like to do, they like processed meat, whole carcasses and bones. Their habitat enrichments include a cardboard box. Who doesn't love to play with a cardboard box? A large ball, prey scented stack, a scratching post, a fire hose ball, a sprinkler, a rubbing pad, a blood scent marker, a snowy large snowball, a gift box enrichment and food enrichments. They like frozen blood pumpkins, a pinata enrichment, and a rest restraint feeder. So those are things that we will have to look at for them. So let's go ahead and go back over to our animal trading. Let's go ahead and get those two that we were looking at. Let's go ahead and get her. Yep. And we're gonna go ahead and get him, adopt him. Now they will go in, since we don't currently have a habitat, they're gonna go into a holding um, facility in one of these buildings down here. All right, so first off, we wanna go ahead and get our barriers in. I'm using a brick barrier here, and I'm making sure that it is 10 um, feet or taller high. And I'm going all the way around, making this pretty big. We're gonna have to put 30 animals into this. Next, we're going to go ahead and put in a gate, and then we're also going to need to connect the pathway so that all of our staff can get into our habitat. Uh, one of the things I want to do now in here is go ahead and work on the terrain. So I want to go ahead and kind of sculpt the terrain. We're going to kind of pull up I think over here we're going to go ahead and put their sleeping habitat. So we're going to create kind of a cave over here. Okay, and so we uh, continue to build up our mountain, trying to get it big enough. We want to make sure that it'll stand out and come out over the edge a little bit so that our Lions will have a nice little place to go ahead and hide into. Here we're going on ahead and pushing in, digging out a little bit of hole for them to be able to crawl inside. This will take care of all of their shelter. They will sleep in here and um, they'll also be able to go in here and have a little bit of privacy. It's pretty big. We're making it for up to, you know, 30 members of our in our little group so I'm hoping that uh, it will big enough be big enough for all of them to be able to crawl in here poked a hole through the back side and did decide that uh, we would go ahead and make that just another little entrance here I'm going on ahead continuing to shape it a little bit and also going on ahead and smoothing everything out so it's nice and smooth and getting that hole just a little bit bigger. So hopefully they will use that also as an entrance and an exit. Okay, uh, so that will be their little hidey hole. And let's just go ahead and pop in here. I think it's gonna be okay. Push this just a little bit more maybe.
we have a little nice little place for them to sleep we can go ahead and go into our habitat mode and do some sleeping where's the sleeping and we can put down some bedding for them so i wish they had these beddings a little bit bigger but we're going to go ahead and plop some beddings in here what i want to do now is go ahead and move my lions in here so that we can find out a little bit more about their needs so where are our lions at there they are i already ordered them so we're going to go ahead and start the game just a little bit and then we're going to go back into here and r2 so we're going to select those and we're going to put send them to this habitat and so now what we have to do is we have to wait for our zookeeper to bring them all right, so let's go ahead and let's now get on our lion and find out what is wrong with him. Okay, so the terrain. He's saying that we do not have enough rock and we have too much long grass, not enough short grass. So let's go ahead and let's get in some rock here. That's soil rock. Let's go ahead and get a big one. Get a big radius here. Let's go ahead and do it kind of on here. A little bit more rock. Okay, a little bit more rock. And just a little bit more rock. I really do want this thing to be rock. Okay, now we have too much long grass, not enough short grass. So let's go find some this long grass, which is pretty much everywhere, I believe. We're just kind of going to go ahead and dot around here. Try to get rid of some of this long grass. Okay, we still have too much long grass. And, but we can use some more soil. So, soil's right here. Let's just do, get rid of some more of this long grass. Let's find some more of the long grass. There's some. And over here. too much long grass let's go ahead and go in here because I think there's a lot of long grass there's a bunch right there a bunch right there <clears throat> okay we still have too much long grass and it could be around the edges here Still too much long grass. All right, now we're getting everything pretty. St okay, he's pretty happy with that. Okay, so we have our terrain done really well. Okay, he does want some enrichment, and we do need to also worry about food. So let's go ahead and look at the food and water. And we're going to go ahead and filter this for West African lion. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and put out a large feeding tray. Just go ahead and put both of them right here. That. And we're going to go ahead and put the drinking water right there. And then let's go ahead and look at the enrichment items so he would like to have um, remember the cardboard box let's go ahead and definitely give him a cardboard box to play with that and a fire hose ball go ahead and put that over here and a, a frozen blood pump put that there and what else do we got we got a sprinkler let's go ahead and put a sprinkler in here Play with the water and a rubbing pad. That rubbing pad right here. 
And a resistant feeder. Put that there. A prey scented stick. Put out that there. A scratching post. We gotta definitely have a scratching post. Put that right here. Alright. I'd like to go ahead and put in some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and push. Make a little uh, watering hole here. They don't need it, but I would like to go ahead and put in a watering hole. So now we just need to go to water and just, let's just fill it up. There we go. Got a little bit of water in here too. Okay, his enrichment. Okay, let's go ahead and just hit the play button for a minute. And we'll watch his enrichment go right up. Okay, pause it again. Now everything looks really good for him. His nutrition is good. Social is good. His habitat is good. And his enrichment is good. All right, so everything is really good for him. Now the female has not been delivered yet, but she is coming. I would like to go ahead now and put in some plants around here. All right, here we're placing down some plants and there's not a lot of uh, bush options. So what I've been doing is um, sinking the trees down into the ground so that they look a little bit like bushes. The requirement for these animals is very minimal. They do not want a lot of plants. Now let's go back to our animals and let's look at the plants again, the environment, plant coverage. Look at, okay, he, they don't want any more. And that's kind of sad because I really wanted to make this really pretty. But um, this is the way it's going to have to be. We cannot put in any more uh, plant life. So uh, there we go. We've got everything that we need. And everybody should start showing up now. I decided to put in a pass system, whereas our visitors could get right over the um, animals and be able to look right down on top of them. All right, so now I think our platform's nice and straight and pretty. So let's go ahead and get out some education for our people so that we can educate them a little bit about these animals. So we will go ahead and put up some billboard signs, one on each side. Yeah. And our education board. And also some education speakers. Yeah, one more. And now we've got to select what we want in here. We want the West African lion. Oops. And our last speaker. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to need to make sure that we have is donation box. Yes, we definitely need to put a donation box in. Let's put one right into next to each of our little things. And then also one right here. Guys, please donate to us. I did change up some things a little bit. I moved some of the trees. They were all clustered over there. I kind of spread them around. We now have a few more plants. I pushed the plants as far as I can to keep them happy. Let's take a look at them and see what they are saying about their whole environment. They seem very happy. I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our first episode. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Next time we'll go ahead and we'll put another habitat over here and maybe do a little bit of our entryway and uh, maybe put in a couple small exhibits. See you all next time. Please leave a like, a comment, and I'd love to know what you guys think of the game. Please let me know what you think, if you are excited to see me play this or not. And um, also subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you all next time.